All right, welcome back to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Today is a follow-up for, let me get the seat sink here, for this California A600XL by Profile. Uh, there is a uh, repair video right here for you that uh, goes over what we did to repair the board itself. Um, and at the, I think it was at the end of the video, uh, I had noticed or I had shown you guys that the input signal and the gain, it would, you could turn the gain just a slight, just a slight turn and you'd go right into clipping, which, uh, you know, I, um, I use an average of a two volt input signal, uh, two to four volt. A lot of your head units now, of course, are a higher voltage. Uh, head units and I I believe these earlier amplifiers just weren't designed for your high uh, voltage head units so what I did in the previous videos I stated I would uh, adjust the input circuit to compensate for today's higher voltage head units and that's what exactly what I did today so Right now, I have a two volt signal going into the uh, into the input of the amplifier. So, as you can see on the scope there, okay, one point nine nine volts, close enough, right? So, I have a one point nine nine, we'll call it two volt input on the amplifier. So, before with that two volt input this the output signal would clip it'd be just a just a square wave and i knew that this amplifier would not function properly with that kind of uh with that kind of level so what i did is i adjusted the uh input circuit to the tl074 here and there this is a really basic design they have the input signal comes in, goes through a capacitor, goes through a resistor, and goes to the in, uh, to the input of the TL074. So there's not much there you can change. But what they do have is two feedback resistors. So what I did is I adjusted the resistance value of the feedback circuits. So originally they had uh, 18K resistors uh, in for the feedback loop. And I at first was thinking of changing the potentiometer value, which you, but you can't because uh, full counterclockwise on these is zero ohms. So I knew I had to change it on the input side of that TL074. And that's exactly what I did. So here's the input side of the resistor. You can see it on scope there, zero two volts. And then I put in a 200K resistor, which brought me down to about 200 millivolts uh, per channel on that input signal. Instead of the one point, I think it was 1.4 volts um, with the original 18K resistor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fire up the board here. You know, it's already running. We already repaired it in the previous video. So... Uh, red lights off, green lights on. So here's the output. Let me get some leads turned around here. So here's the output. So we're at 3.7 volts on the output at a two volt input. Um, our rail voltage is 32 volts so so we're at 3.65 volts with our 2 volt input and our gain is fully counterclockwise so now with that 200k resistors installed for the feedback loop i can turn the gain halfway up i'm not clipping now so i'm at 13.8 volts you know roughly half 
of the output voltage and that's about half my gain so about three quarters of the turn is when I just get into the soft clipping at 22.6 volts so there I adjusted the input circuit to compensate for today's head units again that's a two volt input I can go up to a 3 volt input still and I'm not clipping at zero gain 3 quarter gain 22 volts and that's at 3 volt input so as you can see here I have adjusted that input circuit to compensate for today's head units and that's what I wanted to achieve and accomplish. So all you guys that are waiting for that video on how I adjusted the circuit, that's how I did it. I pulled out the original resistors that were 18K. I replaced them with, uh, it was trial and error. Don't get me wrong, it was trial and error. I ended up using a 200K resistor uh, that would adjust me in between the two and four volt input range and not be all the way fully counterclockwise on the gain. So now I do have full control of the gain from zero to three quarter, as uh, you would find on most any amplifier. So that's how I resolved that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions on this, uh, please let me know down below there, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.